In this video, we're going to take a look at all the different kinds of menu links that you can create to your Joomla articles, presenting your articles to your viewers in different formats. Hey there, Joomla fans. Tim Davis here. I'm a Joomla fan too. Thanks for tuning in to this Encore performance of Watch Me Work live stream number 24. I appreciate your support of this channel. Uh, if you haven't done so, please subscribe and ring the bell for notifications and you'll get updates about new things happening here on the channel. Uh, this Watch Me Work live stream is a collab, so it's not as tight as some of the tutorials on the channel. We take a long look and uh, work together to figure out some of the things that we find along the way. So without further ado, let's head over. Let's head on and check out that video brought to you by over to basicjoomla.com forward slash giveaways. Don't forget to enter this month's giveaway. Uh, today, a free copy of OSTraining.com's Joomla 3 Explained is what I'll focus on. Uh, you can go there and enter and we'll do the draw every month. Now, you're also going to hear some pingings uh, because I, I joined a Joomla uh, chit chat group on Slack and it's ch there's a discussion taking place and my phone is chiming and I don't know how to turn it off. I just started just before streaming. And let's head on over to... Well, I get this set up here. Da, 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 da. What screen am I looking at? There we go. All right. I get that there, and I will get the chat up, and then we will be all set to go. All right. So thanks again for tuning in today. If you're watching this on the Encore Performance when it's uploaded to YouTube, and you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. Subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, leave a comment in the sec uh, in the comment section below about what uh, you like about the channel or would like to see or any suggestions that you have. All right, so last week on the Watch Me Work live stream, we uh, were taking a look at this site, Faith Community Church. It's a client of mine. And uh, we were moving a bunch of articles from one category to another. And uh, so last week, Maintenance Monday, we looked how to do it using the batch processing feature that's core in Joomla. And then uh, on the Watch Me Work live stream on Wednesday, we used um, re uh, DB Replacer from Regular Labs to bulk move lots of um, lots of articles from one category to another. And we also used a filter looking at what the content was uh, that was within those articles as whether they should be moved or not. So that was pretty cool. If you're, if that sounds interesting, head on back and watch that uh, in the past there. Now, uh, so today what we're going to do is uh, take a look at how some of these links are performing and, and what they open. Uh, one of the people that uh, works on this site or contacted me, uh, uh, Sue contacted me and, and wanted to know why certain things happen when you clicked on certain links. She wants to get to know this site better and to be able to do things herself. Uh, and so I thought I would take a look today to see what is going on. And we'll just do a brief overview. I'll make a few changes. I'm not going to make tons of changes because I want to leave them there for you, Sue, to be able to uh, change as, as you want, as you see what's happening here. So we'll log into the back end of their site. We are already there. Uh, when you get handed a Joomla site and you want to, and you're not quite sure what's happening or how it's organized, or if you're new to Joomla, uh, when you are in the control, the admin control panel, uh, go to menus and just click on all menu items. Uh, if your site is fairly simple, you probably will only have a couple of different menus that are set up on your site. If it's complex, you may have multiple menus. But under the menu items here, we can see where all of the links are set up. And each of these links does something. And we're going to look at how, uh, how to change those and how to set those up. Uh, here on the left, if you just click on menus, you'll see how many menus you have. And uh, this site only has main menu. In fact, uh, you very common for a site to also have a user menu uh, that, a, that is set up to appear when someone's logged into the front end of the site. But this site only has a main menu. Uh, so we could click on main menu there and we can see here are the items. Now these little dots here, if they are solid black, then that is showing the order at which all of your items, uh, your menu links are. Um, and so, um, uh, here's a few items that are unpublished, but basically here's the structure of the links here corresponding to the links on this main menu here. 
Now we know that's the main menu because there is only the main menu on this site. Uh, in these, in in these, in these links, uh, you can click and see what exactly it is that they are set to do. Creating a link for a menu or creating a, a menu item in Joomla, you are not only creating the text, but you also want to set up and select what that, uh, what's going to happen when you click on that text. Where is it going to go? And so you will see back here in this in this site, here is the articles, featured articles, home. So this link is set up to show only articles that are featured, that are set to appear on the front page. News, articles, single article. So this link shows, when you click on news, it will show only a single article. Uh, and we're gonna go into this in, in deeper, context, uh, deeper context as we go. Uh, Cat uh, list all categories here for resources. That's going to be a key one that they want to look into. And uh, so mostly all these links here are all categories. Now here's one links, web links, and we that's to a different component inside of Joomla. Now, if you were to create a new menu item, and let's just click on new here. Once you get into that area, you of course are going to give the menu title. That's what someone would click on. But what's really key here is menu item type. If I click select here, uh, here are all the different kinds of menus that I can, uh, menu items that I can create. So here's articles, which we're going to look at in depth uh, today. But here are all of the other extensions or components in this Joomla install that you could create links to that you might want to. So for instance, if you want to create a link to someone's contact, you could uh, click on contacts here and here you can uh, create a link for featured contacts which here it says this view lists the featured contacts all contact categories list the contacts in a single category or a single content a single contact uh, that would be to just one person and so what you can do when you're setting up menus or getting familiarized with menus in Joomla and menu items is you can go through, see what kinds you can create. You can even create some of these because you can always unpublish them and delete them after if you don't want to uh, have them permanently. But you can just go through and see what the different menu, uh, the different menu item types do, and then you will, it'll start to, it'll gel with you, and you'll see that when you're creating a menu, now you're just creating a collection of links that go to certain things on a website. I'm gonna try to stop this dinging here. All right, maybe if it's just turning the volume down. Thought I had it down, but okay. So now um, existing links already have one of these item types assigned to them. And that's where we will begin to look. Now, one of the things that Sue asked about was it seemed that on the site here, when you click resources, if I just left click on that, you end up to a page that has all of these other categories and she felt that that just was sort of duplicating what's happening here on the drop down for the menu so you have children bible studies downloads men sermons and over here here we have christmas sermons men women children bible studies faqs resources uh, and so why is it that when you click on resources you only just get a list of all the same drop down menus well we will see that by clicking on the resources link right here now if you have a lot of menu items and you're scrolling up and down you can always go into the search field and just search for a few of the letters that fit in the link that you're looking for and you'll have it right at the top so we click on resources and what we're going to see here is that the type of menu item here is list all categories all right so even though that link says resources and you would think maybe that there should be some articles just showing resources and information. This particular menu item type is set to show only the categories that are in the resources category. All right. So in order for us to see um, uh, what's happening here, I should open my, up one more window. So let me do this. I'm going to close. I'm going to go to content and then categories i'm going to right click and open in a new tab and then while that tab opens back here i'm going to reopen the resources link 
As we look at categories here, we see that resources is a category in Joomla. It's a it's an article category type. It's an art it's a category to assign articles to. But it also has these subcategories, sermons, and sermons has a subcategory of Christmas sermons. And then you have uh, men, women, children, Bible studies, FAQs, resources. And so basically this link is a link saying show a list of all the categories that exist in a category. So here the selected category, the top level is resources, but you could display other categories that are perhaps in uh, the, the, instead of just showing resources. Now, uh, so when you, right now, by clicking on resources, you're actually it's actually set up to show a list of other categories in researches. And if you want to do something different, then you can change this menu item type. Now, um, if you don't have any articles assigned to the resources category, then you might not want to even have this resources link clickable. And I'll show you a scenario in this case. All right, let's go over here. Here is a list of resources. Why don't we go here? I'm going to click on the top left on articles. And then I'm going to use the search tools and I'm going to go to category and I'm going to select resources. It's at the top. Now we'll see all of the articles that are assigned to resources. Let me just check this one back in this lock here. Uh, that happens when you have a file, a, a article that's open and you don't close it before you uh, leave the admin area uh, and your session time's out. Now, as we saw last week when we were working on this site, all of these articles belong in the, are assigned to the category resources, but there's lots that are in sermons as well as a subcategory. There are also, if we, here's one down here, that's uh, assigned to sermons, Christmas sermons. So even though all these articles technically are in the resources category or a subcategory of resources, if we only want to see what is assigned specifically to the resources category itself, what we do is we go to this drop down to select max levels and we say we only want to see one level, one level of the tree of subcategories. So when we click that one there, we'll see that on this site currently, there's only one article assigned to the resources category and it's junior church. So if we go back and decide that this resources link, we want it to show only articles assigned to it. If someone clicks on resources, the only article that's going to show up is in fact the junior church article. And that's probably not the kind of effect that you want on your website uh, when people click on resources and there's only one resource for one specific group. So uh, there's a couple of things that you could do here. You could create more articles and assign them to the resources uh, category by themselves, not in subcategories. Or you could change this resources link in order to... Um, uh, when you click on it, uh, when you mouse over it, it actually isn't a link and it forces people to go down to the specific area that they, that of resource that they are looking for. All right. So let's do that. Here we have, we'll go back to the menu item and we see resources. And instead of listing all categories, I will do this. First of all, I'm going to put my phone in my back pocket because that noise is driving me crazy there, distracting me. Uh, I will do this. Under menu item type, instead of listing all categories, I'm going to select. I'm not even going to create a menu, uh, change it to a menu type that's in articles, which we'll look at in a bit. I'm going to scroll down here to system links and I'm going to select separator. Now the separator type link is actually not even a link. Uh, as you can read there, it says a separator with or without a text label, useful to separate items within a menu. So uh, if I um, make this a separator type link, all right, 
And now, so that gets through and it changes. And I save this. And uh, once I save this, the cache will be uh, dumped. I should be able now to go to resources as I after I refresh this page. And if I mouse over resources and left click, nothing happens. You see that nothing is happening there because we have now changed that from a link which will open up a and show a list of all the categories in resources and below. Now we've just made it a separator. So now people, when they go to click on resources, they can't, but they are presented with the drop down, which is great because now you're funneling them into the section that you want to um, want th to make available to them. Yes, and Vinny says in the in um, in the uh, in chat here, you might want to utilize tags rather than categories. Yes, um, and tags is another way that you can assign tags to articles, and then they will display based on the tags instead of the categories, uh, and that's a totally legit way to go as well. In fact, I think last week we switched over the, I think this Christmas sermons link was actually showing articles that were tagged for that. And then you can, uh, but we switched back. Um, one of the things that I like just about the category approach, especially for people who are starting out with Joomla, is the, the, the formatting is right there for a blog layout or a list layout, which we're going to look at in a second. Um, so that can work really well. Uh, but now, uh, what we've got here is, I'm going to click home again. Um, here's the front page of the page. We go to resources. You cannot click on resources, which is okay, because now it's going to make us go down to what we want to click on. So let's click on children to see what kind of link opens up there. All right. Now, children's church. Here it says children's church. We have combined ages, classes. I don't know. Let's take a look and see what kind of link this children link is. All right, so we'll close this um, this link here, or this, this separator space we've made now. And I'm just going to clear the filter here. And we're looking under resources to children. And we'll see it says right there, articles, category, blog. So why don't we click on that? And we will then see that the menu item type is a category blog. And that when you mouse over, it says a component URL alias separator or heading. It shows the different types that you can have. If we, uh, we see here that this category blog is choosing from a category. Now, uh, here when we consider category blog, let's just think of the blog layout as sort of like a newspaper or a magazine. Uh, where so if you open up a, a newspaper and, and you're reading stories there's articles presented in certain formats and you can start to read them sometimes they're continued on other pages or they are just there they have a picture and, uh, and so if you have a sports section all of your sports articles are on the same page and people can start to read the articles or read entire articles there just think of that as the blog layout and so what this menu item is doing is it is going to show all of the articles in the children category and it's going to put them on and display them like a blog. And so that's what's happening here. Um, here are all of the articles assigned to the children's category being shown as a blog. Now there's only one, which of course doesn't surprise us because back here we saw that, um, uh, that's uh, click out of resources here. Uh, back here we saw, let's see, Children's Church. Let me clear this filter here. Let's search for the title. It has children. Uh, and here's the article. Category, Resources, Children. There's only one assigned to children. And it's called Children's Church. When we click on this article, we will see the text that is here. And basically, uh, there is the article and you can uh, see that when you click on this link, resources, children, 
it is set to show a blog view of all of the articles or a bunch of articles that are assigned to that particular category. And the only one thing shows up here because there is only one article assigned to that. Now, um, uh, you could add a, a picture or make changes in here in this particular article and it'll show up here in the blog. As we go back to that menu item, we can see some of the settings for the category blog. And here you have, uh, so instance, we've given the, the title as children, uh, alias, we'll, it will just leave as children, we'll let the Joomla pick that. You can go to category. Now in this category view, there's a number of things that you can choose that happen when someone clicks on the children menu link. Uh, and menu item. So for instance, do you want to show subcategories? You would say here it says use global to show. So if the children category had subcategories, say ages 1 to 5, ages 6 to 10, ages 11 to 14, and so on, it would show um, uh, it would show categories underneath these articles. It would show other uh, articles from those categories. If there's an image that's assigned to the category, do you want it to show or not show? Uh, basically, where you have the category set up, you can put in a description, you can assign an image that goes with that uh, category, and here you are choosing whether that, that image shows up. Uh, or the same thing with category description. If you have a description for the children category in this case, it will show on this blog page or if you don't want it to, you could hide it. Uh, how many subcategory levels you want to show? Maybe you have three levels of sub subcategories in a category, then you can um, uh, you can only just show one or two levels of them. If there's a category that exists but doesn't have any uh, articles assigned to it, do you want to see the name of that category? There's really no sense in that. So in this case, uh, you would say hide. Uh, if, if uh, no articles message, so there are no articles in this category, will display when there's no articles in the category. Uh, you don't even have to pay attention to this if you've said don't show empty categories. Uh, Subcategory sub descriptions. So if you uh, put a description for a category, you can have a description for each subcategory as well. But do you want those to show on the page? Also, tags, as Vinny was talking about, do you want to show tags that are assigned to those articles? And that's where you can set. So, uh, And then page subheading, an optional text to show as a subheading on your page. Uh, all of these things, you can play around with the different views and how they look on your site and, and, and figure them out. So this is if you were just showing a category link, all right? And as we saw before, resources was a category link it basically showed all the categories that were in resources. Now, blog layout. Here's your settings for a blog layout. Leading articles, intro articles, columns, and links. If you have a website that has more than one, if, you're, if the, the blog that you're showing, the category that you're showing in blog format has more than one file, here's uh, more than one article assigned to it, these settings will show will affect the layout of your article. Uh, sorry, of that of that of that page that opens up when you click on the link. Uh, number of leading articles. This is how many articles would appear, taking up the full width of the page. So you would right now the default is set to one. So let's say you had ten articles. The first article that qualifies the article that qualifies to be at the top will be one right across the top. Then you have intro articles. Uh, those are articles that are, think of them like runners in the race. They're coming in second, third, fourth, and fifth place. They're not number one to be shown on this page. Uh, they are second, third, fourth, and fifth. So how many of those do you want to show? You want to have one main one. How many other ones do you want below that would be uh, lesser articles that are uh, broken up? Sort of like a, a headline on a front page um, uh, or or on a, in a sports section, you might have a big story at the top and then other stories underneath it. In columns, this is where you pick how many columns those intro articles will be in. So you have your main one story at the top. Uh, underneath, maybe you're gonna have, you might have three intro articles and you want three columns. So you want one, two, 
three and that uh, you're so these are all formatting things you can play around with and then links is how many links to other articles you have so you have the first place article that wins say you're you have things set up to show the uh, most recent article first and we're just about to get to that setting you have the article that wins number one you now have articles that finish second third and fourth for being shown and they are so they're intro articles and then the columns they're showing up as three even though right here it's set for two but you have a whole bunch of other articles in the uh in your um in your category and uh, what do you do with those well they'll appear at the bottom just as links with titles that people can click on so that would be articles number four five six and seven there would just be their uh, titles and people know that they can click to read those more so how many links do you want at the bottom in this case we have four uh, do you are going to include subcategories uh, you know uh, there's just so many options here as you can see you can now go into here and start looking around and playing around to see what these different things will do uh, category order which category do you want these articles to be shown in of what all the other categories you selected um so an article from what you know if a category uh being selected you know you select which one is going to show first and you have category order no order alphabetical reverse alphabetical category order and that's how you manually set up those orders uh article order now here do you want the do you want the number one article to be uh, whatever um, is most recent, the newest article. Do you want the oldest one to be at the top? Uh, title alphabetical, title reverse alphabetical, author reverse alphabetical, most hits, lots of options. Maybe you just want random articles being shown onto this page. Or there's the article order. You can actually go into the article manager and physically change the order where they appear in the list there's so many things we could look at in this uh votes descending votes descending if you have people voting on articles and ranking them you can choose the the, the one that has the most votes to be at the top or the one with the least votes to be at the top and uh ratings ascending or ratings descending so here you have lots of control just over the blog layout and that's what we've selected here Perhaps um, uh, what we'll do is we'll leave these other options here to check out later on or at another time. But we'll just close this and let's take a look at another link type that's happening on this site. Um, so as I said, this link here, children, that's, that's showing a blog layout of all the articles assigned to the children category. There's only one. If you, uh, if you made more articles and assigned them to that category, they would show up there. When we look at resources next, why don't we go down to this one where we know there's lots, and that's sermons. And when we click on sermons, we are going to see something very different. Instead of a blog layout of the sermons and read uh, sermons and layout and things like that, we see actually a list of the articles that are assigned to this subcategory of sermons. Let's go into menu and let's scroll down to sermons. Or in fact, let's just use our little filter trick there. For those of you that maybe are just tuning in, I will paste in chat the information for if you want to come on to Zoom and talk, or if you have a good long distance calling plan, you can find a local number in your country. Uh, that you can call in and use your phone to take part in the stream here. All right, so I search for categories that have the uh, uh, word, uh, well, the letters S-E-R-M in them, and sermons and Christmas sermons and archive sermons came up. Now, Christmas sermons is a subcategory of sermons. But as you'll see here, uh, this sermons link, which we're going to look into, it says it's an articles category list. So I'm going to click on that. And there we see that uh, this link is set so that when someone clicks on it, it opens up a 
a category list. And the list that it's, the category is drawing from is the sermons category. So we recently, we were just looking um, at the menu type and we saw you can pick the category uh, filtering options and set up here. And then we saw blog layout. Well, now this tab shows list layout. Uh, basically, this type, as we see, will just show a list of articles that are assigned to a category or subcategories of that category, depending how you set things up. And so we would see here that to uh, show or hide the display select drop down list box is an option here. Uh, it's showing that's this drop down box here, I believe. Uh, filter field. Show or hide a filter field for the list. So right now we're hiding it. We could uh, show a filter field for the title. Let's just hit that and save. Uh, this particular site is also used in SH404 SEF and sometimes when you're changing menu items it, you need to go into there and uh, and adjust the URLs. I'm going to get to that at the end of showing these options. Um, the cache is clean. Now we will refresh. And here we now will have, hopefully, yes, a title filter right here. So let's, um, let's, uh, let's see. Here we've got uh, sermon title, God's reasonable expectation. I bet you, that, uh, let's see how many f titles there are that have the name God in them. So we type in God, we hit enter, and now it's going to show here are all the sermons, here are all the articles in the category, the subcategory of Christmas sermons, because remember it's a subcategory of um, of sermons, and it's uh, God's reasonable expectation, the passion of God, how God sees the family. Actually, this is showing the sermons category. This is a link to go to the Christmas sermons category. Uh, my mistake on that. Uh, anyway, so uh, really what I wanted to show was by changing the settings in the menu uh, settings, you can change what appears on the page when it's clicked. So let's hide uh, this filter field. We, don't, we won't show it. Uh, table headings. Do we want to show the table headings? That would be title, author, and hits. Uh, we can say yes, we want to show the table headings. Leave it at yes. Do we want to show the date? Right now, globally, it's set to hide. Uh, do we want to show hits in the list? Right now, it's showing. Watch, if we click hide and save, What's going to happen is this column over here that shows hits, how many times that article has been uh, viewed, uh, is going to disappear when we refresh. Let's click continue on that. And we expect that column now disappears. So if you want to hide the author name, you could go back here and hide author. Show author in list or hide. So I'm just going to set this back because I want to let Sue uh, uh, set this the way that she wants. Brian is someone else that works on this site. Uh, and then down here we get to see category order, the you know the order that categories will show in. Do you want to show the order that they exist in their list, or do you want to do again uh, alphabetical, reverse alphabetical, or the actual order that they are in Joomla? Um, we might not even want those categories to show, which means that we can go down here. Where would we put that? I think we would say category title, subcategory levels here. See, it says use global one. Let's say no subcategories. We'll save that. And we'll go to sermons here and we'll refresh. And I believe this is going to make Christmas sermons disappear here. Oh, it still shows, but it did not show the subcategories. There must be somewhere else that I need to change that. Subcategories, um, let's see, list layout. Did I miss something for categories? Um, there we go, look down here, category order, article order. No. Options. 
choose the layout show category if set to show um, show category if set to show the title of the articles category will show I think that is for somewhere else huh why does Christmas sermon still show up there as a subcategory and this is where you get into the nitty-gritty of designing your site, getting the things to actually show or not show that you want. At this point, what I think I want to show you is this. I'm going to close this article here. I'm going to go to Components, SH404 SEF, and I want to view SEF URL. So I'm going to right-click and open that. This extension takes the funny gobbledygook URLs that Joomla components can have and gives them a very nice search engine friendly URL. So it will change, for instance, here it changes index.php, option equals com tags, all this long line here, and it just makes the link to dash Christmas sermons. Sometimes when you change a menu link, um, as we have been doing here for sermons, you uh, the options are actually encoded inside of the link uh, the link code and uh, sh404 sef just keeps pointing to the old encoding part so what we want to do here is search for sermons forward slash filtering here we're going to see all of the urls that exist apparently there isn't one let's see it's all of the urls that exist that have sermon the word sermons in them well that is interesting why is there not any showing? Oh, because I'm in the short URL there. This is the field over here I should be looking at. Uh, sermons. All right, and here we have, you all, you'll see there's uh, at least 10 pages of 50. So there are a lot of articles that have uh, sermons in the, in the URL. Uh, we actually want to find... Um, the one that starts with uh, so here alphabetically there's Christmas sermons Christmas so we need to skip along a page to find the ones that um, do not uh, that alphabetically start with S so here's Christmas sermons PDF sermons there's gonna be quite a few of those PDF so I'm gonna skip to six here uh, okay here's sermons I went a little too far so I'm going to go back to page five there we go, there's the link, it worked out right at the top. You notice here where it says sermons forward slash, that's the SEF URL for this page that we're looking at. Over here there's seven duplicates. When I click on this seven, we'll see that each one of these are different category, uh, different links that have been pointing, to, that have had an S, a search engine friendly URL that's for uh, sermons. And here it's just serving up this particular one, which only shows the category. But look, as we go further down here, uh, we see different things for limit 5, limit 15. Uh, what I do is this. I just cancel this, and I'm going to just check this, and I'm going to delete all of the links that point to sermons forward slash. If you're using short URLs to point to a certain link, so for instance, 3k here if you were to go to faithcommunitychurch.ca forward slash 3k it would open up this sermons page if you're using that in print or somewhere you don't want to delete this um you don't want to delete this link what you want to do is go into the duplicates and find the exact one that works the way that you want and make it the main one but they do not use shurls on this so i'm just going to delete and i'm going to delete with the duplicates it will get rid of all these sevens over here what happens when you do this after deleting this I'm going to clean the cache using regular labs cache cleaner up here when you go back to that page now there is in sh404 sef no URL that is pointing that is forward slash sermons when I refresh this I'm gonna get a broken page yes and Vinny says you can also use Joomla redirect to point old URLs to new URLs yes you can um, 
And yes, and, and that's a tool that is available for redirecting old URLs to uh, new URLs uh, if you're not using SH404 SEF. See what happened here, uh, as I was saying, is this says, oops, we can't find that page because we broke that link, we deleted it. But having done that, having refreshed the page, yes, hey Chuck, good to see you, man. Thanks for joining in. Yes, Vinny, especially if we don't have SH404, uh, you can, yeah, use the uh, Joomla redirect. Um, so when we refresh this page, it actually would look through all of these menus again and redraw what they are. So now we can hit refresh one more time and a page should come up. Oh, so now it's refreshed, but Christmas sermons is still showing there. All right, well, we'll still have to solve that mystery. Let's just look back on SH404 SEF and uh, uh, what page are we on here? We're on page five. We see that up here in the top right. I'm going to search for sermons again. Still on page five and notice now there's sermons. Well, it looks like actually the SH URL didn't change. That's interesting. I'm gonna have to look into that. Maybe, maybe that's not a concern anymore. But look, there's no more duplicates over here. So basically we've ruled out that this is still appearing. It's not still appearing because there was a, too many duplicates of the URL here. And I realize I'm really getting into some uh, deeper stuff here, but that's the great thing to have this recorded. You can come back and look at it over and over again. So why is it that Christmas sermon still appears on this link here? Ah, that's okay. So this is list layout. I would think that it would be in here. Show a category order, no order. Article order, date for ordering, pagination, articles to list, featured articles. Huh. Show ratings and lists. Votes. Uh, where are we going to? It's not that. Category title, use, category description, category image, subcategories, none. Show subcategories text. Let's see, we'll show a subheading on the page. Oh, may, well, let's just turn that off for now. See if that does it. Uh, I'm going to save that. And then we will refresh. Hopefully this disappears. No. Huh. All right, well that's a mystery we'll get back to in just a little bit because uh, let's keep on track with showing the different kinds of link types that you can have to articles. All right, so we have sermons here showing a list. Let's just change that for fun just right now. And we will edit, uh, instead of a category list, we will select a different type. And here we'll, so menu type and articles. Why don't we do a um, featured articles? All right, and basically for featured articles, we are showing any articles that are assigned to show up on the front page that are um, important. And to do that, we could do this. Let's go clear here. We will, this sermon here, what motivates you? This little star here, we're going to check it and toggle its featured status. And we'll also do this, who do you love? And we can do one way down here, the misunderstood gift. Oh, that's a Christmas sermon. Uh, God's reasonable expectation. Now, having done that, and in this menu item, we have said show only the items that are featured um, on the site, right? And we're not picking a category now. We're, this is basically uh, making another front page link type uh, uh, deal. We will go save, and we will go over here two sermons and refresh and I believe this is going to change it nicely and now we have a blog view of 
items or articles that are assigned front page status. So we have what motivates you, Antichrist, this little light of mine. We can scroll down. Who do you love? The greatest thing. We can scroll way down. And then look, here's more articles. Um, and these all looks like these are all assigned to featured layout. Now, how do we know that those are all assigned to featured layout? Well, here we said we only want to see art articles that are assigned to featured. Well, we can also go to the uh, article manager here and click to see only featured articles. And we click on that, we see that we have four here which is not exactly what I was expecting because over here we have way more than four, I think. One, two. Oh, no, I was right. Three, four, five. And here we have one, two, three, four. What is the extra one that's showing up here? Antichrist, this little light of mine. No. Let's check this back out here because let's take a look at our, it must be in the options, layout. Oh, select categories, all categories, that's fine. So if we wanted to only see featured ones from the sermons category, we could then select sermons right here. Leading articles, intro articles, we have the defaults that are there. Category art article, da -da -da, pagination. That's the numbers that are at the bottom. Options, show title, yes, show link titles. Hmm, I would see, I would not ex be, expe I would expect here that only, and we select this and we can read that option again. Featured articles, show all featured articles from one or more multiple categories in a single or multi-column layout. Here again is a case where I'm gonna go back here and I'm going to uh, search for sermons again. Um, that is not changed there. I'm going to just delete that URL, refresh here. And we're gonna get a broken page there. We will refresh again because it will be drawn on the refresh. No. Resources, sermons. There we go. Huh? You know what? Oh, there's welcome. What motivates you? Who do you love? Welcome. And God's reasonable expectation. All right. So there was an example where you needed to go in and find the URL in SH404 SEF and delete the instance and then have it redrawn and recreated. And um, if we filter search here, we'll see that at the top, uh, apparently is not showing up in the same position that it was before. So something got redrawn there. Let's look at another page here, Let's go down the bottom. Huh, how about that? Sermons is somewhere, but it's not showing up at the top here now. Okay, uh, another mystery. Uh, but basically, now that link is performing the way they want. Now, this looks probably a little bit complicated, but you're not going to be changing your menu types very often. Once you get them the way that you want, they'll just sit there and keep working. We're looking at a site where uh, there's going to be some redesign and some different performance of the links that are wanted. All right. So uh, here we have featured articles, one, two, three, four of them, and sermons, but it's showing featured articles of all categories. Remember, we can go back here and we can go to the layout and we can say instead of all categories, we only want to see what's assigned to sermons. All right, click save. Hopefully this will uh, just adapt. And what we expect here is this welcome message is going to disappear. Uh, remember, here in this layout, we've got one uh, one full article and then these 
uh, introductory articles. There's going to be four of them, but you get to one, two, and then another one down here. Now I'm just going to show you how we can fix this really long text issue here. Let's refresh. Welcome should disappear. Yes, and so we end up with what motivates you, who do you love, God's reasonable expectation. Now notice how the these articles go on here forever. Uh, on the newspaper and a blog layout, uh, if an article is too big for the page, it says continued on or read more on page such and such. That's where the read more comes in that are good to use in articles. And let's just do that right now quick so before I move on and look at other links. So this article, who do you love? Let's go in here. Who do you love? There it is right there. It's one of the featured articles. And then we see that there's just full text in here. If we scroll down a bit, and that's just for fun, after the proposition right here of the message, click at the end of the line, and we're going to use this little button here that says insert read more. Watch how this helps with the, the layout of the page. We'll save that article. Now in this blog layout, which is set to show only featured articles assigned to the category sermons, when we refresh on this sermon here, Who Do You Love? We will see that now has Who Do You Love? The text, the proposition, and then look at this, a read more button. Who Do You Love? If you click on that, it will go to the full article, which is great. Uh, because you want to read the full article at this point. But back here in a blog layout, you're just giving people teasers about the articles. And so the same thing, God's reasonable expectation. Let's put a read more in there. Uh, that's here. We'll close this. And we go to God's reasonable expectation. And tons of text. Again, let's put the read more at the end of that line there. And save. We will go back, we refresh the page, and now we have what motivates you, who do you love, and God's reasonable expectation. I'm not sure why what motivates you has no text there. We could look at that and see, although I think I have an idea. The read more is probably um, too far up in the article. But you'll see, now here is a way that you can assign articles, uh, that you can uh, have a nice blog view, a blog layout view of your articles by using the read more consistently in your articles because then it will only show what comes up to before the read more. So you could have four or five uh, articles assigned to that. In fact, let's just get a little bit crazy here. Save and close. Uh, now we're seeing featured articles there. Let's go back up to articles and we're playing around with, we're showing articles that are only assigned to the sermons category. So let's do search tools and sermons. We'll filter by sermons. Now here's articles that are featured, right? All right, why don't we do this? I'm gonna go into the, this message here, importance of prayer. We will go in Oh, and all there is is the uh, is the actual text for listening to the message. All right, so we'll close that. Let's go to a different one. Uh, from Jailbird to Songbird. Let's see if there's full text in that. There is. All right, so let's put the read more again at the end of the proposition. So we click read more. And then over here, we will set this to featured. That's saving us clicking the star in the list. So we'll say yes, and we'll save this. And then we will go down, let's look at uh, Alive Forevermore today. And if there's full text in that, there is. Now there is no, oh, here's proposition. Let's format it differently. And uh, there's some other things that are happening in here that looks like uh, there's line breaks instead of paragraph marks, yes. That's uh, something to fix another time. But here we go. At the end of proposition, we will put in the um, read more, which is there. And we will go 
save and close. Oh, no, we will feature it. Now we've added two more articles to the, uh, made them featured. They're in the sermons category. Um, oh, and this one exists somewhere else, so it can't be saved with that change. That's something else to fix. On uh, I, I, that's that's a whole other issue that's happening on this site here. So, just quickly, let's pick a, yet a different one. Um, okay, or uh, guard your heart. Guard your heart, and there we go. Proposition. We'll put in read more, and we will feature, and we will save. Once that is saved, we will now go back to the sermons article here, or the sermons link, which right now we have set to show only featured articles that are in the sermons category. We have three here, but we've just added two more. So when I refresh, now we have five. And look, they're kind of nicely laid out because here you have uh, the read mores after a proposition, which is mostly three lines. There's some different font formatting happening on this site, and that just depends on how it's cut and paste and uh, by the how the client is putting things in. Uh, but this is just to show you that uh, the blog layout. We have this one main article which goes right across, and we have the um, the next intro articles. There's four and two columns, and if we were to add more, in fact, we can do that very quickly. By doing this let's go back down to the bottom let's just add these four I'm gonna star 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 why not that one too there you go I did that faster than the page could refresh but it sends a command and all of them are featured uh, I'm gonna clean the cache all right because we didn't save anything there so just changing feature doesn't necessarily empty the cache we refresh now we have one introduction or one main article, four introductory ones in two columns, and then here's more articles: the banquet, faith revealed, value of one, failure, and faith. We can even go more to demonstrate things. Let's just go to uh, let's add uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's just make all of these featured clean the cache and we will refresh now we're going to see the one main article that goes across now we have articles that don't have read more in here that we just added so there's one two sorry one two three four it's a long one we have more articles which is four and then down here we have uh, pagination so we can see other pages of articles that aren't fitting into this format. So there's even more to go to. And we see that back here in the menu uh, where we set the quality, the values of the menu here, leading articles, one, intro articles, four, that's the default, columns, two, links, four. Watch what happens when we change columns to three. Save. We will refresh. And now we have the one main article that's going across. And now we have three articles. And they're all in little columns there. Three columns. Remember, this one doesn't have a read more. And we actually have four selected. So down here, we're going to see a fourth one that takes up the first of the one column. And then more articles and then pages. So in this case, if you really like the three column width thing, which really isn't working with the play buttons here, but if you were going, if you wanted to use three columns, you would then say, okay, I want three columns, but only show three intro articles or only show six. So you can have two rows of three. Again, we'll just take a quick look down here. Um, and, and so here we're seeing just the many ways that you can change the settings in a menu link and what information is portrayed. Uh, we could go to, uh, let's see, multi links, number of links to show at the bottom. Uh, we could go to two. And do we want to see pagination? 
down here. Uh, let's say, yeah, we do want to see it. Uh, yes. Shore high pagination results. Example, pages one of four. We can go this. Save. We're saving something so the cache will automatically clean with regular labs cache cleaner. We refresh this page. And now we have one article that's main at the top, three going across in a column. We didn't really change the number to four. Oh yeah, we did six. Here's three more going across. Now, of course, they all need their formatting and things worked out in them to see what's happening. And then we get to the bottom way down here's more articles only showing two and yes we are showing the links to other to the pagination so that's an example of the featured articles layout and when you look at the menu in this site we can see here we will see well we'll see this uh, that's um we'll come back to this in just a second when we look at all the menu items and we'll change this filter, we'll clear it because we were only seeing sermons, we'll see the home page is featured articles. The home page is now set to show, it shows featured articles and the options are it's showing all, it's showing all article, featured articles in all categories. That tells me that when I go back here to home, we've broken the front page really well because now look, it's showing all the featured articles. It's showing this big article here, which shows right across. That's your top article one. You have your three columns and you have two rows of that. Again, this is all messed up because of, actually this one is set to show through uh, three columns and lots of pagination. Uh, it's actually set up not to show any more other articles as well. Anyways, those are settings all here. So for instance, show zero links. That's why zero shows there. So we could, um, right now it's showing featured things for all categories. And so in order to get that to only show featured links from a specific category, you almost have to assign articles to a category that's like for front page only. Or maybe you have things that are, um, is there a category in here which is uncategorized? That might be something. Or maybe you only want to show news. You pick what you want, or, or you pick what you want to show on the front page. Or the other thing that you could do is this. Um, you can, Let's see, I was thinking you could maybe just filter by tags here as well, which is something that Vinny mentioned here. Um, but it doesn't look, oh, that's for layout. Select categories. I don't see a way to filter by tags for the front. Um, no, there isn't. So you're pretty much stuck with just only featured articles here. You can't do featured articles from a certain, um, from a certain with a certain tag, only with categories. So that's a bit of a limitation right there. All right, so let's let's fix what's broken here. First of all, the home page is showing all featured articles. Let's go back here, and uh, we'll, here we are in the article manager. I'm going to click on featured articles. Here are all the articles that we just made featured. And um, most of them are in sermons. There is, uh, here's one that says welcome and the categories about us and background. So if I filter in here for the category sermon. So here we are looking at featured articles that are assigned to the category sermons. They're all here. I just have to um, go in here and make them not featured. And to do that, I don't think there's a mass way to batch process these. Let's just check. Uh, search that's, do we have batch up here? No, we do not. 
So much feature archive checking. Da, 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 da. Okay, so I'm just basically going to do this. I'm going to go through and unfeature these articles. I'm just clicking on those stars. And we'll wait for that to filter through. Refresh. And now we have no sermons that are featured articles. Now when we uncheck that filter, we see there's only one page that's featured. And that's welcome. When we clean the cache, go to the home page and refresh. There it is. One welcome page. One page on the whole site that's set to featured. And it's actually the About Us article. I think if we go here and click on About Us, that will probably come up. Oh, well, there's a little bit more information there. So that featured article, Welcome, is this one here. It's called Welcome. Us. It's the category is About Us and Background. Okay. And that's why that's probably not showing up in this About Us. Oh, here's the background sub link here. And that same, oh, this is very interesting. Background, background, about us. Now, let's see, here's welcome. It's in the category about us and background. It's a star, but over here, that's not the article that shows up in about us. Well, that's something, something else to be sorted out as this site gets reorganized. Uh, what we do know also is if we go to resources and sermons, because there are no featured, no sermons featured now, nothing is going to show up under the link sermons now because it's showing all the articles that are assigned to the sermons category that are featured, which there's none. So why don't we go back here to the sermons menu link and we will put it back to the way that it was on the site. And then that way, Sue or Brian can change it back to change it to what they want or leave it. So before we go select to what it was, we go to articles. It is a category list. What category we select. We want to see the sermons. And then um, we have your other options. So you want to see things from subcategories and image and descriptions and such like that. That's cool. Uh, we just leave. I think this is what we want. We'll save this. We will go back to sermons and we will refresh. Oh, that's uh, sermon. Oh, welcome to the Faith Community Church's website. Huh, that's not correct. I believe that this is a case where we need to. Okay, let me just clean this cache here. And refresh the page again. It looks to me like sermons is still stuck to show only things that are featured. Even though we've changed the menu here. Let's see. Um, category list sermons. I think this is a case where we have to go into SH404 SEF. And search for sermons again. Okay, and here's the link, and I think this will demonstrate how you can, instead of deleting this link and recreating it, you can go back in and uh, you can just select a new main one. We we'll click on duplicates, and here we see that right now the main item is this index com content item ID equals 166, ID equals 35. Here is a different item ID, 53. This is the code in the ugly code that's not search engine for the URL. Look at here we have shurl 3 k That looks like the old one. So we're going to say that whenever someone goes to sermons, we want this to be the main URL that comes up. And we'll clean the cache. And now when we refresh, I believe we're going to get that list back. Because wait for it to load oh my goodness come on guys nope that did not do it either one more try for that 
Again, remember, this is just fiddly stuff you have to be concerned about when you're changing links and their qualities or their, their settings. No. Nope. So we're going to go right back here to sermons. We're going to check on this. We're going to delete with duplicates. Wipe that puppy right out. We're going to go reload. Uh, maybe I didn't clean the cache there. All right. Let's reload. Oh my goodness. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Let's filter here and see what's there. Sermons is there. If we click on it, we look and we see. Comic Con, I need mean, to. Maybe I have missed something here. Sermons, category list. Here's what it should be. Index com equals com underscore content. View equals category ID equals 35. We click here. That's the same thing. Although that's showing view list. We want to, this is showing view category, but we want to show view list. Because um, we're selecting list here. Well, again, this is one of those fiddly things dealing with SH404 SEF, which is a great extension. I love this extension. It's so great in so many ways, um, but obviously it is giving me a bit of a fight on this one. Let's delete that again, delete. Clean the cache. Do, 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 do. Let's just go home here. That will get things in. This is the home page. That, that's great. That's what we want. Resources. And we go to sermons. Please be the list. Okay. It worked that time. Just out of curiosity, let's go back. Uh, maybe this could have been my browser giving me a cached view. That's something else I didn't think about. Uh, because um, here's sermons. Yeah, it's the same link. You know what? I think I mistakenly just kept getting seeing the same page because I was refreshing in Chrome. Uh, if you ever, if that ever happens to you, you can go. I believe uh, Vinny told me this yesterday. Shift. No, control F5 will force a page refresh. And that makes your browser look on the server for the freshest view of the page instead of uh, that. Or control shift and R will also do it as well. So that's what was happening. It wasn't the links in Joomla. It was my browser that was memorizing the page. Anyway, so look, we've got sermons. Uh, we have this back. Still don't know why Christmas sermons is there, why it's listing subcategories of that, something to look at. But anyways, there's another menu type that we looked at. Let's go back to the menu here and let's see the other types. We'll just click on menu item type here for sermons. We have an, a type at the top here, which is archived articles. Now, um, this is where if someone knows, and especially uh, if someone wants to come on Zoom and talk about it, what are archived articles in Joomla? Because it's not anything that I use. I haven't even looked up what they are. If you know what archived articles are, type it in chat or we can go and look at it now. In the meantime, we've seen how a, what a category blog uh, menu type is. Category list, we've seen that. That's what resources used to be before we made it just a... a, a having a, a, a text holder there uh, that this if you create a category list link it will show you all of the categories that exist uh, in in a category or in subcategories within it so if you want to just say hey here's the different topics you can read and have a list there you would go create articles a very interesting one 
if you have people who are logging into the front end of the site, you can set it so that when they uh, go and to create an article, they can actually, um, to add an article, they log in with their profile and then they go in and put in a title and they actually make an article and assign it and then it becomes part of the Joomla site. We saw what featured articles do. They're just like on the home page or something that you've assigned featured article status to. Uh, list all categories. That shows a list of all categories within a category. All right. Now up here, um, we I think I misspoke because I said a category list was to show how to list all the categories. This category list lists the articles in the category. List all categories is the link that will show um, all of the categories within a category. And then there's the single article display. And that's, check that one out. So for instance, a single article, for instance, okay, here we have news. Let's click on this link here, it's news. Let's go to the front page and we'll click on news. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, and here is an article. It shows what's coming up in January and February. And so how this site is being used in a set is this. Um, there is an article somewhere. So let's clear this filter. And uh, clear that again. Oh, we're looking at featured articles. Let's go to articles. And let's clear this filter here, okay. Let's look for articles that have news in the title. And so we have good news, which is a sermon. The oldest psalm with the latest news, that's a sermon. And then here's news. And it's the category, it's news is assigned to upcoming. When we look at the menu link for news here, the single article, we see that it is of the type single article. And basically, your, this menu uh, type is when you, uh, when you create it, you select a specific article that this link will open. So you're not opening a list of articles. You're not op opening a category and showing articles in a blog format. You're not showing any of the other options. You're actually hunting and pecking one specific article. And in this case, it's the news article. If you want to select articles, you could just click edit and go and uh, change the article. Oh, sorry, this is for editing the article that's selected. If you want it to uh, select a different article, you click clear, then you would go select. And here's all the articles on your site that you could filter. And so for instance, we could uh, filter by Christmas. And here's, uh, okay, here's an article that has Christmas in the title. And it is this, so you could click that. And that's the article that would open when you click on news. I'm not going to save this. I'm just going to close this, which means it won't save those changes. But wh what's happening on the site here is that news, when someone clicks on the news link in the main menu, it's opening the single article that's inside the for uh, category upcoming and news. It's named news. Uh, is that the uh, news? Let's just take a look at the category. Is there a category called news? <clears throat> yes, so there's a news and then upcoming. All right, so uh, it is actually opening up the upcoming. In the URL, it's picking the last subdirectory for part of the search engine from the URL. Upcoming, and the article name is news. And so this, how this site is being changed here is uh, news, looking for what's about to happen in days ahead. Here's their news for January and February. Now what they're doing here is that if they want to have different news on the front page, they're changing this specific article. Uh, we'll go back here to the news article. We'll go and we'll see. Um, so here's news and here's the latest news that they put in. And this is a, this is a perfectly legitimate way to be doing this. 
especially uh, when you know that there's a specific spot on your website that you want to have uh, if you change an article it's going to change that spot on the web page now uh, I notice a couple of things about this page so I just give a little bit of feedback on this when I'm in the article editor I notice that at the end there's quite a bit of white space so I'm left clicking and dragging down here and that white space shows up over here as blank space and then there's the copyright at the bottom and you know what like I said this is totally fine because this is getting the information out but if uh, what I would suggest is this I would take out the white space that's at the end and sewer Brian you can always put this back in and then I will save it okay now when we go and refresh We don't have the white space at the bottom and it makes the page just a little bit tighter. Also, I mean, there's an extra white space there, but maybe you want it that there for the extra line. The other thing that you can do with this particular um, uh, approach is this. This news link is a link that shows a single article. What you could do is change that news link to be a link that shows not a specific article. I'm not going to make this change, but I will show it. Um, instead of linking to a specific article, you could link it, you could change it to a category blog post type format that shows like a category. We see here that uh, the news article is assigned to the category over here upcoming all right it's under news and upcoming all right what you could do is this you could save instead of editing this file and just constantly doing the news you could title this news and i'm not going to save this news for january and february 2019 the reason that I say I, I put in the dates is you want to you want to have a different title because the URL is going each article will have its own URL. So if you were to save this for news for January and February 2019 and we take this out and save it, it would get a longer alias. Then on your news page, you would have this article. Great. That's information for people. Then the next month for news for March and April. Instead of going in here and changing this, you would create a new article. So I'm just going to close this and not lose the changes. Create a new article. And this would be news for, uh, let's just call it news for March. And you would, put, you would put your news, blah, 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 in here. And then you would assign it to the category, which is upcoming and do all of your stuff you would save this and then over here when someone clicked on news it would show everything that's assigned to the upcoming category and when you create when you format this link you would say hey i want everything on here to i want the newest shown and what the, the result of that would be this you would have the latest news article that you've added appearing at the top but then people who are visiting could also read your other news items. They could say, oh, I wonder what was happening in January and February. Oh, what did they do in November? It's more information. Also, by having those multiple pages, you're creating new content, which Google really likes for search results. And uh, also, that means if people are searching for uh, something to do, let's say something to do in uh, this church is in Pinocchio. Uh, no, it's in Black Falls. Alberta. So someone searches Black Falls ice skating. Well, you not ice skating this year, but you were ice skating last year and that was in the news. The search results in Google might take them to your old page, which is still on because now you're making different pages. And when they see that and say, oh, 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 this is a church that went skating last year. So I'm not, there's no, uh, no, this is not for this year. Okay. But wait a second. Oh, that's interesting. Now you've got them on your page. 
and they're checking out your services, what you have to offer. This is the way that it works with a business too. If a business has news pages and keeps bumping the older ones down but leaves them up, it's more pages that exist in order to attract people in search engines. So to do that, basically what you would do, and I won't save these changes, is we would say news is the menu item, but let's change the type. We want there to be a blog because blogs are really nice to catch people's eyes. So we go articles, we would make a category blog. And in this category blog, we want to see only articles that are assigned to upcoming. All right. And this blog layout, we want the lead article to be one across, but the intro articles, we want, we want to show the last three we only want, uh, actually, let's show the last four. Let's have those in two columns. And for links for some other things, we'll do uh, we'll do three other links. And down here, we don't want pagination at the bottom. We just want it crisp and clean. We don't need to see that. So pagination, hide. And there's all kinds of options. What do you want to see? Choose a, oh, there's, no, uh, there's no different layouts. So there's just the one. Um, you want to show intro text of things. Uh, anyways, you just familiarize yourself with all of these things. Uh, category. Do you want to see anything from subcategories if they are? Set it all up and then you will have a new link, a new link that's serving you here for news and you'll have a blog and you'll be adding pages and content and your site will just continue to fill out from there. So that's how you would do that. So the, I'm going to cancel, close this without saving. Okay. Now, uh, the last link that we're talking about, the last type that we're talking about is archived. All right. Now, they do have some archived articles here, an archived articles type link, but they've unpublished this. So... Uh, again, I do not, first of all, okay, let's go to art, the list of articles. We'll clear the filter. Let's go to search tools and the status. We'll select archived. Are there any articles on here that are actually archived? Yes, they are. Uh, and this one is archived from 2018 in April. All right. Incomparable freedom. Let's go in and see. See, because, and, and this will be the collab, the big collab part, because uh, I don't see what difference it makes to archive, set an article to archive. Because if I click this to view it, is it going to show up? Yes, it is. Um, so what is the difference between archiving an article and not archiving it? Or is this just something that's, a leftover from previous versions. So why don't we do this? Let's ask Mr. Google. What is archived in Joomla articles? In fact, let's say what's archived in Joomla 3 articles. All right, so this says this uh, moving an article to the archive. Open a new tab. All right. An article can be moved to archive status from the content article manager screen. This is useful if you publish a lot of articles and there are ones that you still want to be published on the site but have been displaced in priority by new ones. The archive module, once activated, can be used to browse the list of previously archived articles. All right, an article can be moved to archive status from the content article. Okay, this is useful. Yeah, we know you can do that. This is useful if you publish a lot of articles and there are ones that you still want to be published on the site but have been displaced in priority by new ones. So you use, okay, you, you archive multiple articles by selecting them and you move them. Um, Okay, archived articles are filtered from view in the article manager. Okay. 
That's good to know. So I always, oh, hey, there's Vinny's Re. Archived articles, stores them on your Joomla site for posterity's sake, but makes them less visible to your site's visitors as they'll no longer be displayed along with the rest of your site's content. Once archived, the articles can only be viewed via your Joomla site's archived articles menu item, the archived articles module, or by searching for the article by name using Joomla's built-in content filtering features. All right. So my question is this. Do archived articles disappear from things like category lists? or from category blogs? Or is it just a tool for us in the back end of the site to not have to deal with so many articles? Okay, so uh, thanks for posting that, Vinny. <coughs> Excuse me. So what we see here basically is this. Um, I'm going to, let's close this article here because I don't remember why I had that open. All right, so we're viewing article archived articles. So let's go clear here. Here is the most recent article. What motive is called? What motivates you? So if I click, uh, if I open this up, this might turn out to be good. Maintenance Monday topic. All right, so if I go over here and I give it the status archived instead of published go save actually we'll go save and close what motivates you let me write that down and do archived articles still have SEO benefits it's a good question Chuck uh, all right, so what motivates you does not show up at the top of the list here. If we go to sermons, resources, and uh, sermons, it does not show up in the top of that list either. But okay, thank goodness for mum. Uh, okay, I wonder if, <laughs> yeah, I was just going to say, Jack, I wonder if you're typing that in the wrong window. Um, but thank goodness for mom. Mom to the rescue again. Uh, here we go. So that does not show up in that list there. Let's go back to viewing in the filter. Let's view archived. Let's view what motivates you. Okay, so that's, uh, um, let's go back here and change this back to, well, first of all, let's preview it. So it still comes up on the page, what motivates you. So uh, in this, per so from this perspective, an archived article still is published as long as you have it set to published. And so if someone has the link, they can still go to that page. And if it's out there in the search engines, it still goes to that page. Uh, should you time out Chuck for writing spam? <laughs> Again. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. So this article, uh, uh, the article, uh, sorry, the archived article is still available. If there was a link in the search engine, it would still come up, but it's not going to come up on things on your site, uh, as we just saw. Now, let's see this here. I'm going to go to Components, J Sitemap Pro, and I'm going, which is the sitemap extension I use on my on my sites and my client sites. We'll go to the XML sitemap. This is what you would submit to a search engine. And we will go control V and we'll paste that in there. And at the top, the top link here is uh, faith community church, faith community church.ca resources, junior church. Now that's a link. Okay, here we go. Uh, sermons. 
Walking in a straight line. Last modified December 9th. Okay. So that's as an experiment archive this particular um, article. All right. So let me let me unarchive what motivates you. Okay. And now we will clear the filter. Oh boy, I have. There we go. Now walking in a straight line. Let's go back to articles and search for walking. There it is. Um, if I click there, it unpublishes it. If I click there, it publishes it. So uh, another way, another way that you can archive things is this: uh, you can select that article and go up here and click archive. We can't see it anymore. I'm going to clean the cache. And now I'm going to refresh the site map and we'll see if walking in a straight line disappears. We refresh and we wait and it comes in and oh, look at that walking in a straight line did disappear. So in this case, you would no longer be broadcasting the existence of that URL in your sitemap when submitting it to places. Now, that said, it would be remain to be seen if Google would forget about that because you don't have it in a sitemap anymore. Because this is, yeah, so this is, this is an interesting uh, question because I can see the advantage of archiving articles so that, excuse me, so that you can't, uh, so you're not bothered by them when you're f working in, in your article manager. I can also see too where if you don't want to overwhelm people with tons of links, you don't want older ones showing, you still want them available, but they don't show up in the pagination part, for instance. But what I've never understood is why you, uh, but is why you would archive something so that search engines can't see it. So if Google sees there's a URL and keeps it in there and doesn't um, uh, doesn't forget about it, then archiving it you could do it. However, if um, if they like to be reminded that a page is somewhere and it looks to see if it's been updated, then there would be, then you don't want to hide it from Google. So that's always why, that's been the main reason why I never archived anything. I actually thought, I suspect that maybe archive just shut the page right down, uh, but basically it just makes it invisible. And if it's making it invisible to Google, that's something I don't want to do. Uh, because especially if you have some columns, uh, if you have some modules set up that show current information, your page, even old pages, have new information on them and might be something that clicks for an organic search in Google. Um, okay, Chuck says he just read this. In general, the content is indexed, indexed until you indicate that, should, uh, that it should not be indexed. If you want to definitely stop them from being indexed, you have some options. For example, in Google, you can use a tool called Google Search Console. Inside, you have options like remove URLs, remove URL tools. Other search engines may have similar tools. Also, you can directly do the request for the removal of the links, but the process will depend on each company and cannot be immediately normally with the above, done with the above, I guess. In general, the content is indexed until you indicate it shouldn't be indexed. Okay, so Chuck is saying that if something is archived and Google knows that it exists, it does not need to be, uh, does not, um, Google will still see it until you say, please don't see this anymore. Okay, that's helpful. Uh, also, now, I guess if, uh, for a way of organizing, you could actually have archive sections. You could archive all of your articles from 2017 
And even though they're older, they're still available for people to find and to search. And that's where we would have this menu item where you would be going into, uh, let's just look at archive news. You would go in and this is, okay, archive news. This is the menu type. So showing archived articles from all categories. So basically, if I just publish this right now, and it is a subcategory of news, let's just publish this right now for looking at it on the, on the site. We will refresh this. News will get an arrow next to it all of a sudden. Archive news. Now this is not just gonna be news, this is gonna be everything that has been archived. And it is set to show, well, let's just see what it's set to show. It is set to show all categories, number of articles to list on the page, five, the ordering, um, show the intro text, link article. So yeah, so you have those options to explore in there. Uh, let's see, which one did we just open? That was that. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, so, and then here's about setting right. Here's the pagination. You have 24 pages of archive things. Let's, uh, so you can actually make it available for people to look at, but not necessarily come across just in their normal routine. So I suppose if there was, uh, you know, the, the big advantage here at least is that uh, those things are hidden. Let me unpublish. Uh, let me unpublish this menu while I'm at it here. It's nice that it's hidden from your article manager. That's a that's an advantage. Uh, if there was some reason, I mean, uh, maybe if, if you're watching this replay or watching live now, I mean, you could put it in chat. But if you're watching a replay, put in comments. What are some situations that you would want to use this archive feature? What are some situations you want to use this archive feature? I wonder if I have one on the basic Joomla site as I think about it. Here's the giveaways. Every, oh, you know, okay. Every week, I, or every month I have this giveaway. And when I make a new month, I actually go and I move the previous month into a category which is previous contests. So when I, oops, didn't mean to click on that. So when I go to uh, administrator and log into my site, I have all these articles in my article manager from my other giveaways. And they do kind of clutter things here. Here's January 2019, December 2018. So I have a bunch there. And as you see, I've moved them to past giveaways. So I could actually, instead of moving them into past giveaways, which ends up giving them a different URL, I could actually leave them in the category that they exist in but I could archive them so they no longer come up uh, in my filter here because I'm done with them. If Google knows about them, that's great. They're out there. And if the, um, but uh, just for organization's sake, I just don't want them to be seen anymore and I could just dump them there. Um, that is interesting. Another way around that too is uh, if you archive things, you could create a sitemap that shows just items that are archived and submit that to Google. I wonder if that's possible. Uh, let's see here, where will we go? Components, sitemap, sitemap pro. Uh, let's see, um, somewhere in here we would look 
But okay, I, I, maybe I won't get into that right now. I keep thinking about it. But that would be a case where you would want to archive articles because you're not dealing with them anymore. It's old information. I still feel in my heart of hearts that I want it out there so that it can be spidered and it can be found. But if I have this set up to constantly, um, if I have this set up to with proper sitemap so that Google does go and see new content before I've archived it, that shouldn't be a problem. Um, I'm going to go to Google here. Basic Joomla giveaway. Let's see what comes up. Okay, there's the 2018. That's the most recent one. Well, not because there's a new one that's on. Um, here's uh, there's only one that shows up anyways. Uh, here's a video of me of uh, celebrating 500 subscribers. There's not a lot that's showing up in there anyways. Let me use the exact text from that. Basic Joomla, let's go back here. Basic Joomla tutorials giveaway. Ba oh, and I spelled Joomla wrong there. Yeah. Basic Joomla tutorials. Giveaway. Ah, there we go. January 2018. There's July 2018. I might not have this set up properly either to be found regularly. I, I, do I even have a sitemap set up on that? I'm so bad on my own sites. Um, all right. Anyway, so that's a possible configuration or need for archiving articles. Uh, just so that they are not there. Um, still, though. Uh, st yeah, still, I just... Do, what's the trade-off? Does it get found by search engines? Chuck's already got the information there that it doesn't get forgotten once it's found. You would have to make... I think I, I think I will still think and investigate for a way for archived articles to not be visible in the admin area, but also maybe to be visible through a sitemap or maybe an RSS feed. I'm going to work on that. Let me look at that. Uh, archived articles. And uh, RSS feed. Or a sitemap. I'll be doing some experimenting. Okay. Uh, so, just getting back to the faithcommunitychurch.ca site. Um Another possible reason for archiving articles might be uh, in the case where you have multimedia things that are with it and you uh, uh, assign to it that you no longer have the files for. So for instance, the, they have, uh, the hosting that they have with me, I think it get, they're using the package with five gigabytes of storage. And so they upload so many MP3s and then the older ones they delete and they're no longer available. So instead of deleting those articles, you could just archive them because then they would still have a link to the M to the audio files, the MP3 files that don't exist any longer. Um, but if ever you got more hosting and wanted to upload those old sermons again or reuse those articles or revisit them, you would have the archive version which you could bring back into play and then you could also upload the 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 audio file so that it would work with the link again. So that might be another case where when you are you take old articles, you do something to them that make them less accessible or functional, but you still want them there and you still want them to be found. Although that would be an odd case because in that case you would just unpublish them if you're going to republish them. Yes, I don't know. That's maybe something that I should uh, ask. Ask archive users. Um, in uh, in a forum or something like that. See how people use them. And we'll see what comments come. Well, maybe just to wrap up this look at menu types then. I think we've looked at everything. Let's just click on the home link here. 
And uh, so we have looked at archived articles. We just talked about that. A little bit of mystery still there. Category blog, category list, create article. So category blog, a blog view of articles, a single article, a single or multi-column layout. You assign which category or select which articles or how they're tagged. You can do in category blog. Um, category list. Actually, category blog is one, something just came to my mind here, because re remember on the featured layout, the front page layout, we, which I call it as well, you couldn't filter by tags, but here you could actually do that. You could create a category, so a category blog, set it up like the front page, select the category that you want to show for that one particular one, and then you could also select tags and you could filter in that in that way you could create a you could create a featured page look um, but uh, without using the featured page factor and in fact you could over here in category let's see uh, da, 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 no blog layout no options let's see is there featured in here we'd have to find no, feature's not there. Maybe you can't do it with that either. I bet you could do it with regular labs uh, articles anywhere. You could do that and create a layout and do it more custom. That's that's the way that you would do it. Because I don't see it. You can you can pick featured items here either. All right. Well, forget that. That was a good idea, but. Um, Oh, here we go. Blog layout at the bottom. Featured articles. Do you want to show them? Yes, show them. Do you want to hide them? Hide them. But you could still show them, but that's not going to exclude other ones that aren't featured. So again, we're back to you can't do it. Regular labs, articles anywhere. You could select category that it's featured. A date range you can do all kinds of things that's the extension to do that with but that's another that's another tutorial down on riverbank uh articles anywhere featured and also um blog category view filter with tags Another topic to do. Excellent. All right. So as far as menu types, hopefully I didn't just change that. No, oh, you're. Uh, hopefully I didn't just break something. Uh, what was I clicking on? Uh, home articles, featured articles, news. Okay. Uh, I think I just canceled all that. We'll go into here. And we'll just check out these types again. Uh, we have archived, which we looked at, category blog, category list, show a list of articles from a specific category, create an article. So if someone logs in, you create this link for them, they can add an article from the front end of the site. Featured articles, show all featured articles from one or multiple categories. Okay, list all categories. That's the list that the resources used to be on the site. And then to show a single article. Alrighty, so, uh, so for my clients, for my clients in Black Falls, there's a great oversight of what's happening on your site with the links, how to go in and see what the links are set to do, and also how to go in and change them for something else that you want. Also, uh, we saw because the site uses SH404 SEF, you may need to go in and delete the SEF URL information and have it redrawn or restarted, or I say redrawn, rewritten, so that it can uh, see the information that you want. Also, make sure that if you're looking at, if the page is not changing, refreshing with your 
in your browser, it might be your browser is pulling it from the cache on your computer instead of getting the most recent version from the server. To fix that, use Shift F5 or Control Shift R is another way that you can do that. And then that will help you see the most current thing. Uh, for people, <coughs> excuse me, if you've just been handed a website and you don't know how the links work or what's going on, this is how to figure out how it's set up, how to change things. And also, uh, it gives you insight into some of the new things that you can do um, or some of the, the options you have available to take your Joomla articles and to show them uh, in a certain presentation on your site, whether a blog category or a list or you're showing categories, all those things that we saw. All right, so um, yeah, Chuck, Chuck, you've got a site for us to look at. Uh, go ahead and paste the link in there. Uh, oh yeah, and I, you can't paste the link because you're not a moderator and I cannot remember how to make moderators still. Let's see. Um, but if you wanna just paste the name in and just put type dot instead of the period and com. We should be able to go to it and find it. Um, I'm just looking to see if I can make. Oh, look at that. Hold on for a sec, Chuck. I think I just figured out. Says so add it root chuck as a moderator of this channel. Go ahead and paste the full URL then. And let's see. There should be a sword next to your name the next time it pops up. And then we'll go check that out. There we go. Look at that. You got a sword. Congratulations. Perfect companions. We've looked at this before. There's a big modal pop-up. Are you using um, regular labs modals for that? Because you can set the size of the pop-up in regular labs modals. Um... Yeah, so, yeah, and also, so, uh, I don't know what you want us to look at, but if maybe it was, first of all, yeah, so in regular labs, modals, and I don't know if it's the free version or the pro version, only available in the pro version, but there are some settings where you can change the size and you can also change the transparency. So as this pops up, it maybe shows a little bit behind, or you can actually gray out the rest of the page that and have the modal on there. But is that what you wanted us, uh, what, what did you want us to look at? Couldn't get module for sign up newsletter. Oh, here we go. Here's the pop up here. Is the caller there? I'll oh, click that out. Okay. So somewhere you're trying to assign a module to sign up for a newsletter. Oh, that pop-up never shows for you? Okay. There it says sign up for our newsletter. Oh, you just reworked it. Okay. Sign up for newsletter, and then that goes to a pop-up. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay, you're trying to get the uh, you're trying to get the module to pop up in it. Okay. I see. Um, I think. Let's see. Regular. Let's look at regular labs here. 
and let's go to um, uh, models and we'll go to the tutorial and let's see by default models will generate internal pages so that only the content component part of the page is displayed so without any side or menu modules uh, I don't think that's that's not what I wanted to see Okay, in the pro version, you can make a module open in a modal by using the inline content tag. So uh, basically what you would do is you go modal content, my module slash modal content and then modal content equals my module. Click here to open my module. All right. Um, so and the, this whole modal content this slash here basically if i remember this right um you can so you put modal content my my module is the name of the module i believe of um that you want to pop up and this slash uh inline content tag so um, simply embedding the module inside these tags this slash modal content you set this down here modal content equals my module click here to open my module and the content this must be the name of the module so it also says you can use modules anywhere to accomplish this so modal content my module module my module title and anyway, so this is where the, the settings are for that. Yeah, you need the pro version to do that. But that, that's a, that, yeah, that's a slick thing to have the, uh, the module pop up. So I just near uh, the, I think there's a way to demonstrate this, but it, that video is up, it's not up yet. If I look at videos, he has installing getting started models, but the settings has not yet been uh, narrated yet. But yeah, you need the pro version for that to do it, to get that effect. Uh, using using models, there might be there might be another way. All right. Well, I think what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to uh, switch back to base. right now um, I think you guys should be able to hear me now even though this is full screen because I've not changed the settings here on my other layout setting and collection on basic Juma um, can you hear me if you want to just say that yes or no in the chat okay you can hear great Anyway, so I am uh, need to go get something to eat, and I need to get some tea to relax my throat. It's really, uh, really tight right now. Um, so, um, anyways, I think that's a pretty good overview of things. Uh, and that was the fun to sort things out. Thanks for your comments along the way, you guys, and also the especially on the whole thing of articles, something to think about and to mull over and to keep experimenting with. And so that's good. Uh, if you've watched the replay to this point, thank you very much. Thanks for hanging in there. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Please do so. Subscribe, ring the bell, get notifications on new live streams and tutorials and whatever's happening on the channel. I shot Vinny a note last night. You probably saw it on Facebook. Hopefully, uh, we will get him uh, doing the Watch Me Work live stream next week on what was the extension that you were going to do that on, Vinny? Um, wasn't easy blog. It was, uh, 
It's one of the ones that does custom layouts. You're going to type it there very fast soon. Anyways, if it works, that's what we'll be doing next Wednesday. Who knows what we'll be doing on Maintenance Monday the next time we get here. Easy layouts. Yes. All right. Vinny, are you going to be able to do that next week? Maybe I didn't see your answer. That's the 13th of February. Easy layouts. Oh, you might not have time. All right. Well, stay tuned to this bat channel and we will see what is going on. We'll get him to do it at some point. Uh, that's basically it. Uh, everybody, thank you very much for uh, your support of this channel. 1,250 subscribers we reached yesterday. I don't know what the number is today. I didn't look because we're on Twitch, so I didn't fire up YouTube yet. But uh, that's exciting and keep, keep moving and growing and uh, still have some cool things planned coming up and looking forward to that. So uh, Chuck and Vinny, anyone else there who is out in Lurkland, uh, thanks for uh, being a part of the stream today. And uh, until I see you next, enjoy your Joomla sites and God bless. <laughs>